Today's video is on edge covering and this topic is from Graph TV. And let me explain you what is this edge covering today. An edge cover in a graph G is the set of edges that covers all the vertices of the graph G. See here, for the vertex cover, we have to select certain vertices and it should cover all the edges of the graph. Whereas for the edge covering, we have to select certain edges that covers all the vertices of the graph G. So V versus E. So V represents vertices and E represents edges. For vertex cover, we have to select certain vertices which covers all the edges. Whereas for the edge cover, we have to select certain edges which covers all the vertices of the graph G. So this is so simple. See, let's get started with few examples. So this is the graph G given. So in this, how many edges are there? E1, E2, E3 and E4. So vertices are V1, this is V2, this is V3 and this is V4. As this is an edge cover. See here. So, so in the edge cover, we have to cover all these vertices. So all the vertices should be covered. So we have to select few edges. So I'll select E1. So this is E1. So the total edge set are E1, E2, E3 and E4. So among these I'm selecting E1 and E3. See here. What happens for E1? They are two vertices V1 and V2. And see for E3. So this is E3. And E3 has, see here, V3 and V4 as vertices. So, if I select E1 and E3, so all the four vertices are covered. So, you can select any other as a E2, E4. So, E1, E2, E3. So, all are edge coverings. And among these, the minimum edge covering is nothing but. So, it's the minimum edge cover here is 2. E1 and E2 or else E2, E4. So, all the V1, V2, V3, V4 are covered here and this is nothing but edge covering. So in edge covering, we have to select certain edges which covers all the four vertices here. So in the second graph here, see how many edges are there? E1, E2, E3, E4 and E5. Five um, edges are there and see vertices. This is V1, this is V2, this is V3, this is V4 and this is V5. See they are total V1, V2, V3, V4 and this is V5. So for the edge cover we have to select certain edges so that it covers all the vertices. How many vertices are there? Five vertices. So among these I am going to select see here if I select E1, E5. So this is E5. So these two are covered. And next if I select E2, these two are covered. And next you can select E3. So see here what happens for E5. V1, V5 are selected. So this is V1 and this is V5 are selected. And for E2, see here, here it is E2. So vertices V2 is covered and next V3 is covered. And next, if I select this uh, V3, see here, if I select this V3, so V4 is also covered. See here, total V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5 are covered. If I select the edges E2, E3, E5. So this is nothing but the edge covering. So you can select some other and among these, so the minimum one, the minimum uh, edges required to cover all the vertices is 3 and therefore the minimum edge cover here is Three and next one for this, for this, if you see, if you see this graph, how many edges are there? E one, E two, E three, E four, E five, and E six. See the total vertices here are this is V one, and this one is V two, and this one is V three, and this one is V four. So we have to select certain edges so that it covers all the four vertices. So here, it's also very simple here. If I select E1, so this is E1. And the next one, if I select E3, see here. Vertex, so this is E1 edge, which covers. So this is V1 and this is V2. So here, two vertices are covered. And if I select E3, edge 3, so here V4. So this is nothing but V4 and this is nothing but 
V3. So all the four vertices are covered if we select the two edges E1 and E3. And next, so this is how we have to select the edges in order to cover all the vertices of the graph. And the minimum number of edges if we select for covering all the vertices of the graph is called the minimum edge cover. So here the minimum edge cover is nothing but 2. Here the minimum edge cover is, so I have to selected 3. 3 edges in order to cover all the vertices of the graph. And the next one here, this for this graph, see here. How many edges are there? This is E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6. This is E7, E8 and E9. So total there are 9 uh, edges here. And how many vertices are there? So it's also very simple. So this is uh, V1. This is V2. This is V3. See this is V4. And this one is V5. So this one is V5. Total we have to cover all these 5 vertices. So, in order to cover all these five vertices, I am selecting the edge E5. See, this is E5. And the next one after this, so V1 and V5 are covered. And next, if I select E2 edge, V2, V3 are covered. And next, this one is left over. If I take E3, it will be sufficient. So, for E5, see here, how many vertices are covering? V1 and this is V5. For V2, See here, this one is V2. This is V2 and this is V3. So, for this E2. So, 4. And next one for E3. So, this is nothing but E3. So, which is equal to this is V4. Therefore, V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. Total 5 vertices are covered. See, total 5 vertices are covered with the selection of 3 edges. So, the minimum edges... Here I have taken here is 3. And see this is nothing but the edge covering. So the next thing here is for the next graph here is. So this one is nothing but C. They are total E1, E2, E3, E4, E5 and E6. So edges here are 6 and the vertices here are this one is v1 and this one is v2 this one is v3 this is v4 this is v5 and this one is v6 so we have to select certain vertices so that it covers all the all the uh, six vertices so i am selecting this see this is e6 so v1 and v6 are covered and next one this is e2 so, this is E2. These two are covered. And next, this is uh, E4. See here, if I select these edges. So, what is, what about E6? This is V1 and this is V6. And the next one here is E2. So, for E2, so this is V2 and this is V3. So, this is nothing but E2. This is nothing but E6. And the next one here is um, E4. So, for E4, this is V4 and this is V5. See here, total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 5 vertices are covered. So, with how many, how many edges? E2, E4 and E6. So, here the minimum edge cover here is 3. And the next one, the most important graph here is Peterson graph. And here the edges here are E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, E7. So, this is E8, E9, E10, E11, E12, E13, E14 and E15. Total 15 edges are there. And see, here the vertices are, so this is V1, this is V2, this is V3, this is V4 and this is V5. See, total how many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3. This is 4 and 5. So, we have to select certain, mm, sorry v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 so this is v6 so this is v7 this is v8 this is v9 and this one is v10 total they are 10 10 vertices so among these 10 vertices so we have to cover all these 10 vertices by selecting few edges see here i am selecting see here if i select e6 and next e7 
so this is e7 so this is e8 and this is e9 and this is e10 so if i select 1 2 3 4 5 5 edges see here so this is nothing but e6 so for e6 so this is v1 and v6 are covered so for v7 see here if i select v7 so for v7 so v2 vertex and next one v7 are covered so if i select v8 edge so if i select v8 edge so this will be v3 and this is v8 and if i select <coughs> this one v9 see here for e9 so this is v4 and this one is v9 see here and next one if i select e10 so for e10 edge if i select so this will be see here for e10 this is v5 and this is uh, v10 so if you observe this one all the vertices are covered this is v1 this is v2 v3 this is v4 so this is v4 and this is v5 and the next one v6 v7 v8 and this is v9 and this is v10 so all the 10 vertices are covered if you select 1 2 3 4 5 edges so this is how we have to uh, cover all the edges this is nothing but edge covering so for edge covering we have to select a few edges which covers all the vertices in the graph so vertices of the graph and thank you so much if you really understand please pass it on to your friends subscribe to this channel and support this channel for latest videos please watch this uh, playlist and definitely it will be very helpful for you and thank you so much